Merry Christmas, everybody. It's happy, happy, happy day today. I'm just, I'm sitting here chilling. Um, I guess I have a plumber over here and he likes to party. And so I, I gave him some Hennessy, you know. As long as he gets the job done, it's just a couple of holes he needs to dig. Tell me one thing or the other. And I'm good. So I ain't worried about him being a little tipsy, you know what I'm saying? So, um, but he gave me a bunch of blood. He's like, oh yeah, this stuff has been rehydrated and stuff. I'm like, dude, give it to me. If you're going to give me weed, dude, just hand it to me, man. Don't fucking act like I care if it's been rehydrated. It's already dry. So, got some weed to smoke. A little bit of weed to smoke, guys. And I'm going to do it. Because I'm in the state of Calif California. The weed he smoked with me before this, though, it was really fucking good. It was really good. But anyway, we had a good conversation. He's very open-minded. You know, I told him, I, you know, how I believe God. If you want to call him omnipresence or whatnot, he's pretty much just a big shot. He, he runs a few solar systems, actually quite a few solar systems. And he's uh, got part, he's part owner of some dimensional portals and, and dimensional areas. So, I mean, God is not altogether bad or anything. I mean, you know, like, altogether all-powerful is what I, I mean, that's my viewpoint. He kind of agreed with me, but he's going at me with the whole Lucifer thing. And I was trying to tell him, dude, it's a broke contract is all it is. God didn't pay him the exact what he wanted. And, then, you know, if you want to call him Lucifer, he, he got mad. So all his angels weren't even aware of his political dealings with God. And God was a terraformer, and so Lucifer was in on that. He was helping out, and he said, look, if you don't fucking do what you said you were going to do, I'll tell all these people what the fuck's going on. And that's when God had to cut him off and say, bro, you can live down there then. How about that? Because I'm trying to get this shit going. I'm trying to keep it going. And all you're doing is you're, getting, you're sticking your nose in. Now, God, not granted, that was bad of Lucifer, but Lucifer's not evil by proxy. He was just... It's like any dispute with contractors, you know, you can't call the guy who lost the union fight the fucking evil guy, right? That's just how it works. All right, so anyways, th we basically had that kind of conversation. And it was pretty hip, actually, because, you know, I don't get too many people that want to listen to the things I have to say. And sometimes I have some important things I want to say. And, you know, the reason why Mars has so much, and I believe that it's like Mars Anomalies, uh, Chris from Mars Anomalies and, and Beyond. Mars Anomalies and Beyond. Chris, you know, Chris can show you some things that are going on. I mean, a lot of the, the material that's left on Mars, the junk piles and stuff that NASA doesn't want you to see, that's, that's the exact reason why they're there, is because they're studying all the old super high-tech stuff from who knows how long ago in the form it's in, which is basically synthetic stuff that has been either transmutated over time into a fossilization or is still a somewhat synthetic product, kind of depending on who you're talking about. But for the most part, Mars is a junk pile. It's full of shit from other civilizations because it was the original terraform planet, beta test planet, and then this was the one that they were going to work on for real. Now, the extraterrestrials that are even higher than them, they go by this Earth like no big deal. They could care less. They're not a threat to us. They're not evil. And at the very least, they may have a straggler or two that may, who knows, maybe want to cause some trouble. Because even at high levels of extraterrestrials, they have their own version of mentally ill or deficient. So there's always certain, you know, there's, there's uh, mathematics involved with every civilization. Every single one has some drawbacks. Uh, not all of them, uh, just because they're high, high developed, are perfect. But uh, it's not a big deal, you know. I mean, like, if you want to believe in Christianity or Scientology or you want to be a Mormon, feel free. God, to me, is a shock caller. He is powerful and more than you could ever, probably more than anyone you'll ever know or anyone else will ever know, uh, from this planet anyway. But the bottom line is, his son was artificially inseminated uh, so he could do some of his own things here on the planet. It was probably by request that his son did that, Jesus. You know, his son probably said, hey, can I go down there and kind of like, you know, I could have some fun doing that, you know. His dad probably said, go ahead, but, you know, I'd probably end up getting killed. And don't ask me to come help you if it happens either. 
But at the same time, Jesus knew that, you know, um, his dad could prevent him from being killed. But he also knew it was a lesson because when um, somebody that high level dies, it can be replaced. Just like we have clones, they can replace automatically the person that was originally there. So if God was killed on this planet, he could be immediately be um, immediately reformed on board a, a spaceship into the same exact person with no defects and, and on the same wavelength. Like, hey, man, why did you let me get killed by all them fools? The dad was like, I told you, I just wanted you to know what it was like. That's what it's like down there. You know, I mean, that's why we made the humans the way they are. We didn't fill their, what they call junk DNA with higher level stuff because we want, they're on standby. You need to realize that they're not, they're not supposed to advance morally as quick as you wanted to, wanted them to, but it's good. It's a good afterthought, but at the same time, you had to learn your lesson, son. And that's what happened with God and Jesus. The devil, the devil's just look at him like a contractor. He, he maybe he made a poor choice in requesting too much from God, and God maybe didn't answer him right away. You know, that happens to the highest beings. You know, they don't always have to answer you if they're way above you. So, um, likelihood, you know, Lucifer just got upset. The contract got broke. He was no longer in charge of the things he was supposed to do. And God said, you can live down there and inhabit those mortals, you know, but the thing is... The devil, or G Lucifer, he's not evil by proxy, and he's really not evil. He's just a, a failed contractor. And all those angels that were with him are in the same contract. So what do you think happens? All the angels have to go with the contractor. The contractor can't keep staying in business with all those angels if all those angels were in agreement with Lucifer. So it's not a bad thing. It's just that, that they get heaven, if you want to call it that. The only reason why they got kicked out is because they weren't part of the club anymore. I mean, they weren't following rules. They were pushing their limits. And, you know, that when that happens, anybody in business is going to say, hey, you're fired. Donald Trump's done it to contractors. It's that simple. It's, it's shrewd, but that's how the universe works. It's not just humanoids that are shrewd. It's any high intelligence that wants to be shrewd at any time, given time, will be shrewd. It's not a big deal. It's like, you know, just because you're highly evolved doesn't mean you're a void of that shit. Okay, that stuff happens because they have to run into other extraterrestrials with completely different structural integrities. So obviously they have to go in all kinds of directions and they're going to run into issues, you know. Um, one of them is trying to maintain the earth. They're trying to maintain the earth at least for as long as they're capable of. But, you know, they, they don't have the same power status as they used to. Aliens come and go from this location because there's a there's a a vector a off ramp to another highway nearby and when they use that sometimes they stop by here and they go oh, look at that little fucking place cute and they move on they don't have any interest in earth at all i mean they might say cute they might just pass it up like it's a fucking abandoned gas station on a rural highway it's nothing they're gonna now some people might stop to look at the rural abandoned gas station but for the most part, the extra-dimensional beings, the beings that are higher developed and extraterrestrials, they're more, they're not necessarily intersolar, but they like to hang around here a lot. And they are running the terraformed planet. And then that's where God comes in. Now, God, to me, God isn't all-powerful. That meaning is not my belief. I believe God simply means the highest up that you'll ever know. And that's sad. It doesn't mean he's all-powerful. Just wanted to double share and make sure you know exactly where I'm coming from because I really get pissed when people don't understand the fuck what I'm talking about. Because I'm really actually down deep. I'm actually a pretty uh, solid individual. I got my integrity. I don't lose any of it just because I'm talking on YouTube. And I have my opinions and I flow with them. And in a lot of ways because of it, whether it be me or you or someone else, you all get blessed by that knowledge.